Over the past few weeks, I did a couple of videos on GPUs, and it's been a while since I talked about uh, the price performance, mostly because, you know, as you probably already know, the GPU market is kind of insane. Uh, but what I wanted to do today was talk about the most relevant cards, meaning that if it's 12 gigabytes of VRAM or above. All right, with that said, let's get to it and let's talk about these cards. All right, we're going to do it a little bit differently than what we've done before in the charts. So just like normal, we get the models down here, we get the VRAM on the next column. Uh, and this time I'm doing the MSRP prices in the next column. And then the best average price for each model. So usually an average of the best three prices that are currently on the market. And just as a reminder, this is new slash retail prices as of uh, May 25th. And then the following column is the lowest price and where I found it. If there's an asterisk next to the item, so like for instance, Amazon's got this asterisk right here. Uh, if you see that, then that means it's sold by a third party. So just be aware of that. This far column right here is the lowest dollar markup versus MSRP. So what what is the markup over MSRP of the lowest dollar uh, item that I could find? And then we've got the uh, frames per second at 1080p, 1440p, 4K. And these were done as an average of multiple sources, including my own testing. Uh, so I, I got numbers from Tech Power Up, from Tom's Hardware, from Gamers Nexus, and Hardware Unbox, and then my numbers, and then I averaged them all. I think that these numbers would be a little more accurate as to what most people are going to find. So uh, I thought it'd be more pertinent to do it that way. So the 5090, 5090 is right out, okay? So you, you, you don't want to buy a 5090. It's just insane pricing right now. The MSRP is $2,000, which in and of itself is a little on the high side considering the uplift from the 4090. Uh, and then, you know, the best average price is almost three grand, right? The absolute best price that I found was on Newegg, uh, which is the G Gigabyte Gaming OC at 29.33. And that markup is 46.65%. So huge markup right there. All right, so just stay away from this card. 4090 isn't much better. So, you know, the MSRP is 1600 and the best average price is 2931. Uh, and the lowest price I found was the Zotac Gaming Amp Aero. And that was on Amazon through a third party at $27.99. And that's a markup of uh, 74, almost 75% versus MSRP. So stay away from that card as well. Not going to be worth it to you. All right. And then you got the 5080. 5080 is not a whole lot better than the 5090. You got a MSRP of $1,000. And the best average price was almost $13.90. The best price that I could find was a PNY model. And that was on Amazon at $13.78. And so the MSRP markup is at 37.8%. 4080 Super MSRP was $1,000. Uh, best average price right now is $18.90. The absolute best price that I found was at $17.70. That's a Zotac Gaming Amp at Amazon through a third party. And that's a markup of 77%, so huge markups. Then we get the 7900 XTX for $1,000 MSRP. It's currently going for an average of 1118. I found one at MSRP on Newegg. It's the ASRock Phantom Gaming. So if you're looking for the 7900 XTX, better grab hold of that as soon as you can before they run out of stock. 5070 Ti, the MSRP was at 750. Its current best average price is at 952 and on average. Uh, the absolute best price is for $900. That's on the MSI website, and that's for the MSI Ventus 3XOC. And that's 20% markup, still high. And uh, I'm going to talk about these colors here in, in a second when we go through this list. So the 9070 XT 16 gig model 
MSRP was 600. Its current average best price is 797. The absolute best price was for 720 on Amazon, and that's the AC's Prime model, another 20% markup. 4070 Ti Super is at 800 MSRP. Current best average is 1233. The absolute best price I found was, again, the ASUS Prime, but this is the OC version. This is through a third party on Amazon for $1,199. And that's almost a 50% markup from MSRP, so stay away from that. 7900 XT, MSRP is at $750. Best average price is at $787. Uh, it's currently selling for under MSRP. So if you're if you're thinking about the 7900 XT, this might be the one for you. This might be a good time for you. Uh, it's the XFX RX 79 model, and that's on Amazon right now for 700 bucks. So that's almost seven percent under MSRP. So that's that's a decent price. All right, and then the 9070 MSRP was at 550. Its current average best price is at 681. And the absolute best price it's going for right now is at 670 through a third party on Amazon. And that's the Gigabyte Gaming OC. That's almost 22% above MSRP. So not all that great. 4070 Ti, the MSRP is at 800. Best average price is at 1589. And that model is out of stock for the most part. All the other prices where it's available is through third party at insane markups. And so the 1589 is the low is the lowest price. So I just put the 1589 there because if I had done if I had done the average for this number, it would have been a whole lot higher than this. All right. And so the markup on that is almost 100 percent markup. So stay away from that model. 5070, 550. MSRP. Its best average price is at 608. It's currently on Amazon for 605. And that's the Gigabyte WinForce small form factor. And that's 10% above MSRP. So not bad. 4070 Super MSRP was 600. And the best average price was 849. The Yesen Sakura is at Newegg through a third party for 819 so 36.5% above MSRP so that's pretty high so I wouldn't really go after that 7900 GRE the MSRP was 550 with the best average price of 730 that is actually the price that it's going for on Newegg through a third party for 730 and that's the XFX RX 79 model and that's going for almost 33% above MSRP. So not great, not good at all. And the 4070, the MSRP is at 600 and its best average price is at 804. The absolute best price is at 770 through a third party on Amazon. That's the Zotac Twin Edge. And that's over 28% above MSRP. So that's pretty high too. 7800 XT. MSRP is at 500 and the best average price is at 645 and the absolute best price is on Amazon for 600 bucks and that's the PowerColor RX 7800 XT and that's 20% above MSRP. Uh, still not good. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan. And 5060 Ti 16 gig MSRP is at 430. The best average price is at 481. It's currently going for 480 on Amazon, and that's the Gigabyte WinForce. And that's 11.63% above MSRP, which isn't bad. The 7700 XT MSRP was at 450. Uh, best average price is at 496. And uh, the best absolute best price I'm seeing right now is on Amazon through a third party, no less. For 450, that might be a scam listing, so just be aware of that. Uh, I'm I'm not a big fan of third-party listings, and that's the XFX Speedster Quick 319 model. Uh, obviously, the 9060 XT at this point has not rolled out. That's supposed to roll out on June 5th, so uh, we might revisit these charts once that rolls out and tests have been done. And then the 4060 Ti 16 gig, the MSRP was at 500. 
its best average price is at 817 uh, the absolute best price I found was 796 on Amazon through a third party and that's a Zotac Twin Edge and that's almost 60% above MSRP so stay away from that as well All right and so to talk about the colors if it's in red stay away from it if it's in orange you probably want to stay away from it and if it's in yellow you know that's up to you uh, one way or the other that's kind of a sitting on the fence kind of thing if you want it now then get it now uh, if you can wait for it to come down a little bit then I would wait if it's in green you should pick it up right now if that's what you want as a reminder the 1080p 1440p and 4k uh, frames are an overall average of multiple sources including my own tests and they're at ultra settings and versus the cost that you saw on the previous chart uh, this is the cost per frame if you got it at msrp and these are the costs per frame if you got it uh, based on the best average dollar price meaning that uh, the best three average prices because not everybody's going to get the same model because you're not going to pick necessarily the same model other people pick and at the same time uh, it might run out of stock and so you might have to settle for a different model and so etc 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 and as you can see in the green on the cost per frame for at MSRP the the best prices at 1080p 1440p and 4k is going to be the 9070 XT it's a good performing card it's it's at MSRP is a great price uh, well worth it and then uh, if you see yellow then that means that's the second place finisher and so for instance the 5070 Ti comes in second place at 4k gaming and I put in bold for the 7800 XT on this particular chart because it is from a cost per frames standpoint versus MSRP technically second place but it does perform at below 60 frames a second so uh, you know if it's toss up between these two models the 7800 XT and the 5070 Ti then you know it's going to be up to you as for as far as your preference goes at 1440p again 9070 XT is first place second place is the 7800 XT and it also takes second place at 1080p ultra current market best three prices average uh, first place at 4K is going to be the 9070 XT again. And at 4K, the 7900 XT comes in second place. Uh, honorable mention goes to 7700 XT at 1192 at 4K, but it does perform at about a little less than 42 frames a second at 42K. So that's debatable whether or not that's a value for you. But at 1440p, it does take first place at 662. And at 1440p, 9070XT comes in second. Same thing with 1080p, 7700 XT uh, has the best cost per frame. And then 9070XT has the second best cost per frame. Now, obviously, the caveat here is that the 7700 XT comes with 12 gigs of VRAM versus 16 gigs of VRAM. Right. All right. So now you know why I had this card sitting in front of me on the intro. It is the best card that you can get overall. Right. It fell in first place across the board at MSRP uh, and it fell in at second or first place on current market condition prices. Right. And so it's, it's tough to get away from what you're used to. So if you're used to having a NVIDIA GPU, I get it. Uh, you know, it took me a minute to wrap my head around the insane things that are going on with the 50 series cards and the insane things that NVIDIA is doing to try to manipulate the market as far as the perception goes. So if you haven't seen videos on what they've been doing uh, for the bigger reviewers, uh, then you might want to take a look at that. They've, they've been trying to strong arm them. And so uh, luckily 
for this kind of thing. Uh, I'm not big enough where it affects me, right? Go fuck yourself, NVIDIA. You know, I don't, I don't really care what they're trying to do as far as strong arming goes. Uh, I, I can say what I want and uh, say what I feel. And I plan to do that in all my future videos, no matter how big I get. So, you know, uh, NVIDIA, you, you're fucking it up and you're, you're hurting your consumer base. And so, yeah, can't recommend you. AMD, however, has been pulling out all the stops and trying to gain market share. Now, hopefully they don't get a big head, gain a lot, uh, uh, a decent amount of market share and start going uh, the route of NVIDIA. Uh, but, you know, we'll we'll see how that goes. But right now, uh, AMD is the go to. And I'm hoping that we see similar things with the 9060 XT, the 16 gig version. Once that rolls out, I'm going to try to get a hold of one uh, so I can run some tests. Uh, if I don't, then, you know, uh, I'll do my best to put numbers together in accordance with what I've found. Anyways, uh, enough of that. L let me know down in the comments if you like this video and the information I've provided. Uh, and hit that like and subscribe button if you did. Uh, it helps out the channel a ton. And if you got any questions or if you need anything clarified that uh, you didn't quite uh, see or understand in the video, then feel free to hit the comments. Uh, I'm more than happy to get back to you guys. Also, you know what? Let me know down in the comments what you think about the current market conditions and what your plan is. What what are you going to do? Are you in the market for a GPU? And if so, what's your plan on how you're going to handle things for the current GPU market? Are you going to wait? Are you going to just get the card that you want regardless of the price? Or let me know. T tell me what you're doing. All right. Anyways, thanks for joining me and hope to see you in the next one.